five time champions Australia are in complete disarray at the ICC ODI World Cup. The Aussies have their back against the wall after losing their first two matches and will look to break the duck against Sri Lanka. Now, they are themselves winless so far. It's almost a must win clash for both the teams to keep their semi final hopes alive. Australia haven't clicked at the World Cup yet, be it their batting, bowling or fielding. The Aussies lost their opening match to host India by six wickets and then completely surrendered against South Africa in Lucknow with many fans calling the defeat un-Australian. They failed to cross the 200-run mark in each of their two matches and suffered mini-collapses at crucial junctures. None of the Aussie batters have registered a 50 yet in the tournament. Their bowling attack has also failed to impress and... They have been uncharacteristically poor in the field. Now, the Australians have dropped a whopping six catches in two games, the most by any team so far in the edition of in this edition of the World Cup. Uh, yeah, no, still haven't really quite put my finger on what playing in the Australian way means. Um, and I've been playing for a long time. But, uh, I mean, uh, no doubt we haven't been up to the standard that we like to hold. Um, yeah, we've, we've been off the mark and been outplayed both games. So, um, you know, when we're at our best, we're putting big runs on the, on the board. We're putting the pressure back into the opposition. Um, you know, us bowlers are taking wickets through the middle. So we haven't been able to pull any of that together so far. The Australians are familiar with the pitch in Lucknow, having played against the Proteas at the same venue. And that will give them slight advantage over Sri Lanka. The 1996 champions are hit by another injury crisis with skipper Dasun Shanaka being ruled out of the remainder of the tournament. Kusal Mendes, who has been in brilliant form, will lead the side. The batters have been in good form, putting more than 300 runs on board in both their defeats to South Africa and Pakistan. Sri Lanka's problem is their inexperienced bowling lineup, who have been leaking runs, but the spinners will fancy their chances against the Aussies who struggled when the ball turns. Now, Dav Watmore, under whose tutelage the Lankans won the World Cup previews, the match which could well define the tournament for both the teams here. Take a look. No, they haven't clicked neither the batting, bowling, or even fielding. They failed to score. Well, the fielding, yeah, yeah, exactly. And they failed to cross the 200 mark in both of the matches. Mm. And you expect Stephen Smith and Marnas Labuschain to, you know, come into their own form in subcontinental wickets. They are Australia's best spin players. Yeah, well, that's true too. Um, but they've also encountered some good good spinners in uh, Chennai. Um, the one in um, in uh, Lucknow against South Africa. They South Africa just look a, a far better team than what we all expected and um, you know they were very very strong on the night they're batting they battered Australia out of it you know with some really good aggressive um, stroke play that gave them a, a big enough total to, to defend and uh, it just you know I think there's for those reasons they're, they're just like and there's drop catches as you mentioned exactly. you know, God, Six I, drop catches against South Africa. Yeah, I mean, I'm really big on that, as you probably know. Uh, but, you know, I, I can understand uh, the hard catches being dropped. So you've got to take the hard catches as well. That turns games. When you drop easy ones, that is a real reflection of where that confidence level is. And that, there's a word called very un-Australian-like defeat that has been trending on social media. Yeah. What is this un-Australian-like defeat? Well, we want to explain it to our viewers. It's, it's a... It's a a feeling it's a it's a way of body it's a body language it's a way of expressing yourself on the field um, w w in a very positive manner now that comes about when the bowlers particularly when you're in the field right you got 11 guys on the field when the bowlers do something good you know then the body language is, is good if the bowlers aren't doing the business it's hard for everyone else in the team to you know to to rise above all that and still put on a brave face. So it complements each other.